how to heal from anything. Get yourself a sick shark sweater. No, I'm just kidding. But like, am I though? <laughs> We're gonna talk about three steps on how to heal anything in your life. So step number one, awareness. Something you do or say, or maybe a way that you react to something that isn't something that you want to do. Okay, I've said it in many other videos, but you can't change something unless you know that you're doing it. And then once you have that awareness, you wanna ask yourself, why did I say that? Why did I react that way? Why is this instance or this person making me feel this way? And so what I want you to do is ask yourself that immediately and you'll be surprised at the answer that comes up super quickly, like super quickly, okay? You don't wanna sit there and ponder it. It's going to come up immediately. And the more that you do this and the more you ask yourself questions, you'll get that answer. It is the first answer that comes to your mind. And in my experience, it literally happens as soon as I'm done asking the question. But I do wanna say, if it doesn't come right away, that's okay. Don't stress about it. The answer will come, and sometimes it comes out of the blue. You know, a lot of times what happens with our brain is when we ask our brain a question, its job is to come up with an answer. Think about when you're talking with a friend or a family member or something, and you're trying to think of something and you just can't think of what it is, and then like two days later, you're just driving in the car or buying groceries and all of a sudden it just comes out of nowhere. That's why. It's because your brain was trying to rack itself to find the answer and it was doing that in the background even though you moved on from trying to figure out the answer to your question. So just ask yourself a question, take note of the thing that comes up immediately and if it doesn't, don't worry about it, it will come. No, but really like, check this sweater out. <laughs> Isn't it so cool? <laughs> I never wear this thing and I've had it for years. Okay, anyway, let's move on to the next step. Once you receive your answer, you want to explore that. And what do I mean by that? I mean, really sit with the answer that comes up. You know, maybe with the answer, some type of scenario popped up in your head that had to do with an instance or a situation or a conversation you may have had with someone. It's coming up for a reason. And this is truly where the real magic happens. You know, a personal example of this would be, I was dealing with a bit of, this is really vulnerable. Um, <laughs> a, a bit of body dysmorphia and I was working with a coach about a year and a half, two years ago on it. And I realized a lot of it came back to just overall perfectionism like of myself and in my life. And where she's, she's asking me these questions and I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the answers are and all of a sudden gymnastics pops into my head. And I'm like, huh, that's interesting. And then when I sat with it and I explored that answer, I used to be a competitive gymnast when I was young. It was easy. Obviously I'm a perfectionist. From the time I was five years old, I was trying to do everything possible to get a perfect 10. And anything that was less than a perfect 10 was disappointing. And so what that taught me at a very young age was that I had to be perfect in everything. This answer didn't come to me. This exploration didn't come to me immediately. I sat with it for some time and I kept asking myself, well, why, why, why? And it just, and then all of a sudden I figured out, I figured out the root of the issue. Sometimes when you ask yourself a question, you know, the answer doesn't come immediately and it comes later on. And the key is, is when it comes up, if it's not immediate, you want to explore it when it comes up because that is when your mind is super focused on it and is more susceptible to giving you deeper, more clarifying answers. And sometimes these things can come up when we're not even trying to find an answer to something. And so when that happens, I want to encourage you to explore it then as well. So recently I've gone on a few dates with this guy and a few nights ago we were at his house watching a movie around nine o'clock. And while we were watching this movie, his friend texted him asking him if he wanted to go get a drink. Immediately, I caught myself almost saying, you can go ahead if you want. In my head, it was like, I don't wanna be a bother. I don't wanna hold you back. Even though we had made these plans about a week prior. And as I'm sitting there and he's, you know, texting his friend or whatever, I'm thinking, wait, what? Why would I say that? And I started exploring it. How do I feel? What would make me say something like that? And it came down to my tendency to people please and not wanting to be a bother to someone else, you know? And, and going a little deeper into that, it's putting myself last. And the thing is, is what I've realized, that has been a pattern in my life within all of my relationships. Always putting myself as a lesser priority than the other person. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't prioritize your partner or the person that you're dating, you know, cause you absolutely should. But there is a balance within that 
and you shouldn't be consistently putting yourself behind others. And so I, after how many relationships I've been in my entire life, it took until this moment at 29 years old to catch myself in the moment before it happened and to explore why I was going to say that and to offer that, okay? And you just wanna keep going deeper and deeper until you get to the root. Sometimes you only have to ask yourself one time and you get the root answer. Sometimes you gotta go deeper and deeper and ask why and why multiple times until you get to the root. And how do you know you're getting to the root? I promise you'll just know. Like you'll know there's nowhere else to go. If you're interested in learning more about healing, I suggest checking out this video next. If you found value in this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Mm -hmm.